welcome back let's uh, take two model question papers up and uh, see two these are two questions uh, questions a uh, question on prepositions and articles and a question on verbs uh, as they come in the examination in the annual examination okay we have two question papers uh you may go to uh, the page number 124 in your uh, course book okay uh the page number is uh, 124 i believe everybody has come now okay look at the question question number 34 uh and uh, yeah let's read the instruction first the instruction goes like this fill in the blanks with appropriate articles and prepositions given in brackets we may know a number of them okay it doesn't matter whether you know all of them or not but you must be in a position to use uh, the given prepositions and articles uh, you know in the particular question um in brackets they will be given you will be given not four but six and you are you are to use only four to fill in the blanks four blanks for four marks and the question is going to be uh, you know from your i mean one of your lessons is to be taken from one of your lessons so uh, look at this question i stayed in a small city the lesson is oru manushyan i made there is a blank living teaching english the results i mean again a blank migrant laborers i work there is a blank 9 in there is a blank morning to 9 at night these prepositions and articles are given these prepositions and articles are given in brackets the first one is a the second is from the third is on the fourth is the the fifth is to the sixth is uh, an now i stayed in a small city i made i made a living teaching english teaching english to migrant laborers i worked from 9 in the morning to 9 at night okay uh, this is how uh, you know um, we are to take a it's very easy since it's uh, from one of your lessons you may not have challenges at all okay let's go to the next question number b and its instruction fill in the blanks with the suitable form of the verbs given in brackets we did study verbs we did study tenses right but uh, the question is a different thing now uh, the question question of 35 the commission met and the members look at in the question question number 35 the first sentence is always a clue it's a clue that you should exploit okay look at the commission met the verb is in the past indefinite tense and all of the verbs are to be in the same same tense i mean past indefinite past perfect past continuous past perfect continuous unless there is a particular context where we may we may have to go for a different tense i mean Uh, an indefinite tense either the present or future or continuous tense either the uh, present or future or the perfect tense either the uh, present and future or the perfect continuous tense either the present and future but here we have a definite clue it's the verb met so the members declare becomes declared that they have becomes had past perfect tense heard 
because of the uh, helping verb have sufficient evidence they have heard sufficient evidence they had heard sufficient evidence from both parties sides they announced past indefinite tense their verdict having heard it the man begin began to grumble now the first sentence in the question is always a clue if it is the past all the past tenses if it is the present all the present tenses if it is future maybe all the future tenses okay uh, that's it okay kindly uh, you know c2 c2 the verb declare has become declared they had heard they announced the man be begin has become the man began to grumble okay let's go to the next uh, model question paper the second model question paper the same questions the same questions i mean a question on articles and prepositions and a question on uh, verbs okay question number will be the same there won't be any change okay no changes at all the number will be the same the instruction will be the same only the question will be different but the item is the same now barber wakes up every morning at 7 the preposition required and starts his day by doing some household chores by is the preposition by and that we have used and 50 50 it is articles 50 prepositions 50 so two articles are over the next two blanks uh, always require articles either a and or the the last okay now then he takes an auto rickshaw first and later walks to the school where he is a class 12 student okay have been able to follow my dear students we, we sorry barber wakes up every morning the preposition required is at morning every morning at 7 7 noun morning every morning is also a noun it's a combination of n plus p plus n and starts his day by doing some household chores so his day by doing some household chores so these two nouns n plus p plus n and he takes an auto rickshaw an article is a part of a noun so auto rickshaw is the noun and uh, uh, it's for used for the first time so it's an indefinite article and according to the initial sound it is an and later he walks to to is already given the preposition is already given that's why you don't need a preposition the blank one uh, is, you know the i mean the idea is very clear here uh, such examples or such questions may come where a preposition is uh, before the blank and uh, the blank never requires a preposition it always requires an article here the that's why it's not a school or an school and an school cannot be it cannot happen a school we don't use either it is school or the school here it is according to the context the school the school where he is a class 12 student okay the next question question 35 instruction is the same fill in the blanks with the suitable form of the verbs given in brackets okay you might have seen uh, you know the question number 34 has uh, come from one of your lessons in the same fashion question number 35 too the goddess stood before me the lesson of the play is the watchman of the lake her tresses be wild be were wild her eyes gleamed her eyes gleamed okay her eyes gleamed with a strange light she carries the verb given carried a sword in her hand she have is the helping verb it becomes sad she had splash becomes splashed she had splashed her forehead with vermilion now how have we tackled it as it's been given as is, uh, as we have been instructed okay everything is given in fact the verb to be used is given the verbs to be used 
used are given okay the question is given blanks are given our job is to use to use appropriate or suitable forms of the given verbs okay that's it uh, my dear students we have discussed two uh, items uh, in two model question papers okay more on it uh, uh, in the class next